So let me ask you this question. Have you ever gone to a meeting uh, to meet somebody at real estate or a coffee shop or something like that to do business, of course, to meet with a prospect and they showed up very late, they didn't call you and let you know, or they didn't show up at all, they totally dissed you. How do you handle that sort of situation? Um, whose fault is it really? Well, let's talk about it for a second. This recently happened to a client of mine, and he said, Claude, I had somebody call me up about a, a piece of property, real estate, and I uh, drew up all the contracts and everything, and I was supposed to meet them at the property, and I waited hours, and they didn't show up. And um, he said to me, what do I do in that situation? Do I call them back? What do I do? Well, first of all, you avoid those situations at all costs. When you speak to a prospect, we, sometimes we get emotional. I always talk about my million dollar rule. People make immediate decisions emotionally. They only ratify or justify them later academically, logically. It is your responsibility to not get emotional, okay? Is to stay cognizant, to stay adult-like. Um, and to go to that prospect, say, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, um, I'm going to change my schedule. I'm going to meet with you at this time and date. Are you going to be there exactly at that time? Because I'm going to go to a great deal of trouble. Or you want me to draw up a contract. It's going to take me a lot of time and research and hours to do this contract. Are we going to be able to meet at 430 on the phone, at the property, at the coffee shop? specifically. You're not going to make me do all this work, make me drive through traffic and spend all this time and not show up. You're not that kind of person, are you, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect? The bottom line is you've got to You've got to set the standards. You've got to be the authority figure and you've got to listen very carefully. In many cases, the prospect will leave you clues that they're not sincere, they're not genuine, they're picking your brain for free or wasting your time. There are people like that out there, unfortunately, because there are so many bad salespeople, but you're not. You're a gut salesperson. You do, th you do things differently. You're, if you're watching a lot of my videos, a one percenter. What do I mean by this? you take full responsibility. Yes, there are people out there, there are sociopaths, there are pathological liars, agreed. And even my system can't um, anticipate and, and deal with all those kind of personalities. You can't, they're just people out there, they, they go through life lying. I feel sorry for them actually. But in most cases, you can protect yourself. When you, when you speak with a prospect, you've got to li listen carefully, first of all. Are they using words like maybe, probably, should? This sounds really good, Claude. I'm sure we won't have any problem meeting tomorrow. Or go ahead and do the contract so I can review them, and then I'll get back to you in the near distant future. You've got to listen to these words, okay? They're not specific. They're not commitments. And it's your responsibility. My, my mentor used to always say, and this is a little... Oh, I'm sorry about the language, but um, he said, Claude, there are no bad prospects. There's only really shitty salesmen out there. And you don't want to be that kind of say. You want to be a gut salesperson. You want them, you want to be the doctor, the professional, the authority in the room. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, when you say maybe, probably, should have, could have, I don't know exactly what that means. You're not going to make me do all this work and then have a change of heart. If I do this work, if we do the price and the terms that we negotiated on, what happens next? If we meet at the coffee shop and you like my product or service, are you prepared to pay for it? How are you gonna pay for it? Are you gonna bring a credit card, a money order, a check with you at that meeting tomorrow at 10.30? It is your responsibility to ask these tough questions and to acutely listen specifically to the words they're using. And if you're hearing wishy-washy or backpedaling or those kind of words, you know you have someone who's manipulating you for either free information or some other reason. And you know what? Time is valuable. Why do some people make all the money in the world and other people struggle all their life? We all, we're all on an equal footing. We're all relatively in the same IQ. We all, God gives us all 24 hours in a day, but some people work smarter with that time. Are you one of them? Of course you are. You're listening to these videos. So when you have a meeting with somebody, you say, okay, we're going to meet at 430. Um, I'm going to have to change my schedule. I might have to cancel my five-year-old's birthday party or move it to another Chuck E. Cheese on another day. I, I, are you sure you're, gonna, you're not going to make me go through all this time and trouble, okay, to Mr. or Mrs. Prospect? And, and that show up or call me the last minute and change, right? Because I'm gonna to go to a great deal of trouble. I wanna make this deal happen. Are we on the same page? 
I believe that you, you are the kind of people that when you give me your word, you're, I, can, I can cash that check at any bank. Why do I feel that way? Boom. Stay in control. Play the role. We're all actors on a stage. Shakespeare said that. Part of the gut system, is be, it's an art and a science. It's being a thespian. It's to, con it's to create an environment of sincerity and trust, not to manipulate, to get honesty and adult-to-adult -adult conversations, not parent talking to a little child, okay? And you're the child in many cases because the prospects have spoken to so many bad salespeople, they think they, can, they want to manipulate you now, but you don't allow that because you're the doctor in the room. So don't go to meetings unless you have firm, hard commitments from people. Uh, make sure you don't waste a lot of time and research um, doing contracts and things like that or traveling without very firm, hard commitments. And of course, get their phone numbers, their cell phone numbers, reconfirm all the time and let them know that you're very serious about this and you're not a fool whose time is to be wasted and manipulated. Okay, How, let's have that mutual respect of both parties. You don't, you, it's, life is short, enjoy it, make all the honest money you can make in life and, and, and don't let people manipulate you and waste your time. It's just too frustrating. I speak, I speak sincerely about this because I'm guilty of all the things I just spoke about until I met my mentor, Max, who taught me how to use my time and get commitments up front, as you should too. Because nobody, nobody deserves success more than you good people. Thank you for always listening, uh, watching my videos and everything. We're getting a lot of clicks and stuff. I really appreciate it. Thank you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It encourages me to make more of them. And uh, share this with your friends. Friends, hit that little hit that little button, subscribe button if you're brand new. I have 900 and I think 40. We're, we're going for a thousand videos uh, here on YouTube. Uh, I really enjoy sharing this with you guys. And listen, I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151. Or go to ClaudeDiamond.com, get a free book or set up a free consultation to learn more about the unique guts sales and success method. Take care. Thanks for joining me.